We might have found one, Dan. I've got lots where, of hundred dollar bills. Where'd you find where do you think you found that? Okay, don't touch it. Nope. Don't, don't touch, touch it. it. Don't touch it. Okay. Oh, you want me to do this on camera? Sure. The, the answer is yes. Yeah. The answer is yes. Yep. The answer is yes. Don't, don't move. <laughs> this is groundbreaking right here. Yeah. That's tell me when we're on. Where have we been on? Oh we've been on. Yeah. Okay. This gentleman, I'm sorry, what's your name? Rick. Actually, my wife found it. Okay. But she's camera shy. She doesn't want to be on camera. Okay, Rick. Um, Rick just walked up to me. I'm a professional meteorite hunter. He was led to me by this gentleman here. And he puts his hand out and says, is this a meteorite? Now, it doesn't take a loop, and it doesn't take uh, a close inspection of this. I don't even need to hold it in my hand. This is such an obvious meteorite that I just want to say congratulations. Thank you. This is really, really... Uh, amazing. This is probably, I can tell by looking at it, the second largest piece found. And um, with the money I'll pay the guy, he's going to be able to, um, <laughs> he's going to have a big smile on his face. How, how many ounces do you think that is? It's not, it, not ounces. We deal in grams when we, when we deal with these meteorites. I'm going to guess 15, maybe 12 to 15 grams. Oh. That represents... Uh, a good day for him. And it's a lot more than money <laughs> because this is such a special meteorite that has come and, and broken up with, with organic and, and different kinds of amino acids, oh. things that are very rare. This is, this is so rare that We're about uh, to find a, a part of this, <laughs> uh, yeah, right, a, a part of this, uh, should we acquire this, is going to go to science. And, and that's obvious. This meteorite is so rare that this should not be in personal collections. It should definitely, at least pieces of this, should go to science to study. Um, this is the most important American fall probably in the history of America. Uh, I cannot think of a more important fall than this one. So what we're going to do is put this in a bag here. Jim's helping me. And, and that way we can examine it up close without touching it. We don't want to put a magnet to it. We, uh, we don't need to. Let me see that. That specimen, as you can tell if you can get a close up on your camera, this is fusion crust. If you can see, this is where, as it came through the atmosphere, it burned and it broke off right there. So this fusion crust came, comes through the atmosphere, it breaks, and you can see it looks like almost like an eggshell right there uh, where the fusion crust is broken. That is a very, very obvious carbonaceous meteorite. Congratulations. Thank you. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Want to weigh it now? We can weigh it real quick if we stay on Roadshow. Thanks for bringing this in. Oh, you bet we're glad to see it. Thank you. Where, where did you find it? Uh huh. Uh huh. close by. Hey, I saw you walk out of the bushes over there. Good, good. Then that's where I found it. <laughs> okay, so we really uh, let's bring the camera in, and we'll describe what we're doing here. Come on over. Come on over. You're you're the guy. <laughs> well, the wife is. Well, she's not the guy. <laughs> All right. So what we do. Um, we like to weigh specimens hey, that are found. This is very, also very important to science. We're going to track, obviously, the path of the meteorite. When the meteorite breaks up overhead and meteorites hit the ground, that's called a strewn field. We also want to document the strewn field. We want to get GPS coordinates. And with that, we also want to get the weight. Yeah. Now, we're going, to bring, we're going to tear this out as close as possible here. It's going to be off. No, nope, right that's, that's pretty good right there. So this is... Uh, that is, I guess, 10 to 15 grams. It's 8.5. That is the second largest piece, correct, found so far? Uh, yeah, the last one was 17 okay. grams. The oh, second, second, second largest, largest piece. Congratulations, Thank my you. friend. Eight and we're going to scoot that back in here without touching it. We want to uh, preserve that for science. And that is, uh, that's, that's really amazing. And now we're going to walk off and talk business.